So the talk in the bike industry is stages, power meters, bankrupting the power meter market. And my opinion, it can't 100% eradicate everyone else because there's always a room for someone to sell some sort of power meter product. But I'd say 99% of users looking for a power meter now are going to be satisfied by a stages power meter. Now, I'm not sponsored by stages. I actually buy them. I've got five stages, had for almost a year now. Haven't any hassle with it. Done a lot of fa thousands and thousands and thousands of miles on them. So I do buy them. This is not, I'm not sponsored. I pay my own cash. These are my personal power meters. I buy for myself. And stages, for those who don't know, it's just your crank arm. That's all it is. It's just that little bit of plastic there. So it only adds like 14 to 17 grams to your bike. If you're looking at SRM or Quark or other Pioneers or whatever, power to max, it's, it's like adding a, you know, basically adding a can of peaches to your bike. You might as well just strap a can of peaches to your top tubes. That's your power meter weight there. It's crazy. But that's fine. It's, it's better to have extra weight in your bike from a power meter, for sure. I, I reckon it's a fantastic idea. But now it's 2014, you can add a can of tin fruit or you can add a piece of plastic. A piece of plastic with a battery in it. It's easy to swatch out. No more sending your SRM back to Germany or New Zealand or wherever. It's fantastic doing the side of the road. Battery power pops off like that. And uh, again, when you do a little plastic thing, just be gentle. Just be gentle. You don't have to muscle it off. Muscle the climbs. Be gentle to your thing. That's it. And this battery pops out. And make sure your O-ring's in nice so it keeps it watertight and it's good. So it's, it's just incredible how easy these things are to use. And if you're running, if you're running Octagra cranks, works the new 6800, works with any Shimano Holotech 2 crank. If you're running SRAM, Red Original, works with those. You've also got, you've got the Durace, that's what most of mine are, the 9000s. It works with any, again, any Holotech crank. Uh, we've got it up here, we've got SRAM Red, we've got the latest SRAM Red, works with that. And uh, then here 105, they haven't got a 105 one that works with that as well. So it's, it's just, I mean, why would you go anything else? Well, I, I saw someone out riding this morning when I'm thinking, why you still got that power meter? It's just like dead weight to your bike. I don't know. I mean, it's 24, it's not 2009 anymore. In 2009 for sure, power tap, best product in the market for the money. Before that, you know, $7,000 SRM or whatever. But now it's 2014. I mean, it's 2014, people are using old technology, which is fine. It's better to have a power meter than no power meter at all. I always 100% agree with that. But if you're in the market for a new power meter, stages. Steam team people said, oh, it's not a really legit product, Harley. And I used to believe that as well until I wrote it for a year. I wrote it compared to other power meters. It's legit. Team Sky using them. I said Team Sky would use them, didn't I? I said it. Because Team Sky, they're OCD about getting little, little gains here and there. And any extra grams and head fucks for the mechanic means their job is less efficient. All right, the mechanic's got to like swap out SRMs and fuck around with the batteries, and it's just more stress for the team than the mechanic. So it's just you know, when you go to stages, you give it to the eight-year-old kid. Hey, can you change the battery for us, mate? You know, <laughs> it's easy. It's fucking easy. It's just a lot of that hassle, less weight in the bike, which in a three-week stage race, it's a few seconds here and there. So. It's a, and it's so they're so cheap, man. They're so cheap. You're 800 bucks, 700 bucks for base model stages, depending on where you live. So it, uh, it is a great tool. And a lot of people say, oh, I'm not a professional athlete. I don't need a power meter. I just want to go out with my mates. And that's that's what I do, man. I'm not a fucking pro athlete. I just go out the lads and the girls and just go and flog up the hills now and then. But what a power meter does is it lets you know what the fuck you can maintain. It's a pacing tool, all right? It's a pacing tool. I'll show you how to use a power meter in 30 seconds. You basically, you go on your favorite climb. You fucking flog yourself up that climb, be it a five minute climb, 10 minute climb, a half an hour climb, and you get home, you upload the Strava, what was, your, what was your average power for that climb? And then you work out, okay, that's what I can hold for five minutes, and then, then you do a 10 minute climb or a 30 minute climb, whatever. And that's how you do it, it's just a pacing tool. It shows you what pace you can do. People say, oh, I don't know my pace is, I'm not doing any good. <laughs> Why the fuck are you riding a bike then, if you're not any good? Why even bother getting out of bed if you're not any good? <laughs> There's a fucking pacing tool. When you go to the gas station, put fuel in your car, you look at how much you're putting in. When you're eating food, you should be looking at how much you're putting in, 
So you get enough. Oh, I eat too much. No, you eat the wrong shit. With a power meter, it shows you what you're actually doing. If, if, if you're a cyclist and you don't know what you're doing, what your workload, what you're putting out, how are you going to get better? How are you going to track improvements? How are you going to pace yourself up a long climb? I just go by feel. Well, Team Sky doesn't go by feel. The world's fastest riders don't go by feel. They go by fucking numbers. <laughs> so if you're telling you telling us that you can feel better than an athlete who's been doing 35,000 Ks a year full time for over a decade, and they use a power meter to make sure they don't make any mistakes, and you're trying to tell us that, I oh, just go by feel. You know, I ride like 5,000 or 10,000 kilometers a day a year for the last 10 years, and I'll go by feel. You don't. You wouldn't have a clue. And I've ridden with plenty of riders who say, I'll go by feel. I go, okay, I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep my mouth shut, and I'm just going to sit behind this rider and look at the wattage, and let's see how well they pace it. They always go too hard at the start. Always go too hard at the start. And they're grinding a bigger gear. And I'm thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, wow, if, if they had a power meter on and they had compact cranks so they could spin, whew, they'd be dropping me right now. But I look at the power, I look at their grinding, and I'm like, well, this makes it easy. So it makes it easy for me because I go, well, this is, we're working pretty hard right now, but they're working harder because they're grinding. They're grinding. I'm spinning. I'm doing it easy still. They're grinding. They're all like 70 cadence grinding away. So I might be hurting, but I know they're hurting more because they're having to grind, and that gives me a physiological boost. And it's all about the brain, man. It's all about the brain. So I've rambled on a bit. Stages, power meter, bankrupted the industry pretty much. Everyone's dropping their prices. SRM's losing sponsorship deals. They're dropping their price a bit. Um, the Garmin Vectors, you know, whatever. <laughs> power tap, drop their price a lot. Still, I rate that product as well. Pioneer, too late, too expensive, too heavy. What else we've got? Quark dropped their price just recently. But stages, man. Stages just come in from the back door and everyone's sort of like highbrow them and then just come in, center stage. Game over. 